pause? Yeah. This first fish. My first Florida bass. First fish of the new year. Oh, oh we lost it. <laughs> What's up? I'm on Lake Toho with Will from well, freezing cold Ohio. <laughs> is it cold up there right now? It is 30 degrees. It's like 70 degrees here, or 60 something degrees here. We got a front coming through. I haven't been fishing since last year. <laughs> I've been dying to say that. It's it's January 3rd, so I, I took the first two days off. But happy new year, 2021, new year. I'm on Lake Toho with Will. He's never fished here before. We are throwing some jerk baits. It's a weekend day. There's like 14 or 15 different tournaments going on. Two, at least two tournaments. There's one out of the north end of the lake. I know there's one out of the south end of the lake. I know a bunch of the guys that are out here. But we got a cold front pushing through, so we got a south wind. We're on offshore hydrilla, throwing some jerk baits from 13 fishing. We'll probably mix it up a little bit today. The water's been warming up. Three days ago when I was out here, the water was like 62 still, and it's up to 66. The fish should really chomp today. Sun's just cracking up over the trees, so stay tuned and let's see what happens. We gotta get Will on some big Florida fish to start 2021. 2021 out the right way. That's right. See ya. Sea worm. There you go. He's still on there too, isn't he? Yeah, he's on there. Oh yeah. Is that a largemouth bass? It is a largemouth bass. Couple hours later. <laughs> 2021 is not starting out that great. Moral victory. <laughs> it is now 10 o'clock in the morning. We have a front coming through. It's gonna start raining on us here a little bit. We could not get him to bite offshore. So I gave him one of my shad jerks, which is kind of my version of a soft plastic jerk bait and a watermelon red. And we're back up inside what everybody thinks we fish in Florida all the time. He catches his, finally lands his first Florida bass. I'm throwing my, my thumper burning it had a couple bites on it haven't landed anything he's throwing the shad jerk which is kind of like a fluke it is not a big one but it's a deserving one on that was right on the edge of those reeds wasn't it yep as soon as it hit the edge of the reeds there last year i was smoking them back in an area just like this and in january we're a little early here in january but there's got to be some fish moving up in here especially with my offshore bite not working today just kind of stuck it on the side there and he took it up in there? Yep, hit it on the fall. I didn't even twitch it. Yeah. Shed jerk. It's weird having somebody fix Rig my bait, bait for, for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just used to it. I know you are. Is that a fish? Yeah, here's one. Dude, I couldn't even tell that was a fish. This is what we've been catching here. Wow. That's why I'm so pissed off. Cause this is like, like we should have caught like 10, 10 or 12 fish. This size or bigger on the jerk bait. Man, that's a big fish. Six pounds. Yeah, I would have rather you caught it though. Nah. Wait, see how small his mouth is? Yeah. Compared to that body? Right. See what you guys just missed? Look at the gut on this thing. Still got my camera rolling. Caught it on the black with blue flag pippinator front move through it's raining it's miserable this is only the second fish we put in the boat they won't touch a jerk bait even though it's completely jerk bait weather i just caught that would have rather well caught i guess i will weigh it because it is pretty heavy things yeah. got it's got the mouth of like a four and a half pounder but the, oh, gut, look at the gut on all full of eggs yeah. not a great day for doing a video 
I broke the clip on my scale weighing a nine pounder a while back. So all I have is this fancy hook on here. This fish weighs two pounds more than it should. Six five. Six five. I knew it was a six pounder. Yeah. I didn't think it was that big when it came up with the boat. So yeah. Look at that gut. Wah, wah, wah. Nasty, nasty weather has been raining on us for two hours. My other camera is underneath the bag because it's literally still raining on us. The Pippinator. Now we got to get you one of those. Yes, we do. There you go. We're on now. <laughs> You've now caught twice as many as you had earlier. This is our fourth fish, kind of. He jumped one off. It is so slow today. We're talking about nothing. <laughs> this is, I caught that big one a little bit ago and it's still raining and it's like another hour later and about 20 yards from where i caught that big one actually we're just moving around this hydrilla bed i'm throwing the plum apple pippinator and he's throwing that black with blue flake so apparently it is a black with blue flake day actually it's not a any kind of day because that's literally like our fourth bite of the whole day you've caught two and jump one off and i've caught one it only takes one big fish for him to turn the whole day around It's actually not that bad out here now. It was raining and kind of miserable. I think the temperature, the air temperature is probably 10 or 15 degrees cooler than it was this morning. We had a south wind, front push through, and we're just trying to get these fish to eat. Was he in a bunch of hydrilla or kind of out? Kind of out. Yeah. Very light bite, he was just there. Yeah. Uh-oh. We are on them now. We are on them. Jerk baiting. Hey, Flyer. No. I told him we were going to make a move. <laughs> was that your first cast? It was first cast. I also told him they were smaller up here the other day. I hope I wasn't right. took my jacket off because we're about to put 20 fish in the boat. We could have quit when it was raining. A lot of trips I have, it gets crappy like that and people are like, you know what? Let's just call enough. it a day. Sorry, you didn't get that lucky today. I'm fine. I'd rather you catch fish. We're already out here. So. Right, exactly. Don't be, 2021, don't be a quitter. No, you're good. I thought something hit mine. Did it, is that a fish? That is a fish. Ooh, he just started pulling. So this is kind of an indicator of when you know the fish aren't in that great of a feeding mood. Um, a lot of other baits, you wouldn't catch the, this fish at all. See, I was, yours, was yours hooked on the bottom or on the Same top? Way, yep. Same way. These fish are just coming up and slapping at these things, but when you have nine hooks hanging off you're gonna have a better shot at catching them again not a big fish fish don't want to cooperate today but only a few it's not several hours in between bites it's like less than five minutes and barely felt that fish just ran into it and hooked himself this is that uh my new favorite jerk bait again that little Loco special, 110 and 13 fishing. That's our what, fifth fish of the day? Yep. Oh, there's another one. Oh, kind of a double. We're on them now. Uh oh. The <laughs> most smaller. the most dangerous fish you can catch on a jerk bait. <laughs> he got it 
in the mouth though. Yeah. Some pliers? Yeah. Let's see. We're stroking them now. These fronts seem to affect bigger fish. Have you ever noticed that? I have noticed More that, than, for sure. It's like when it's cold out, when it's still kind of cold outside, kids will go out and play, mm -hmm. and the adults are like, oh, I'm not gonna go out, it's too well, cold. Going out. Yep. But it's kind of like, it seems to be that same way with fish. Bigger fish get affected. That's why I'm surprised with the few bites that we've had that the one of them was that big old fat. That was a big fish. Six something. We we're getting ready to head in. It was an interesting day. We started out pretty cold front, fished through the cold front and rain. Rained more and longer than I thought it was going to. Caught our biggest fish while it was raining because I had this camera all covered up with a plastic bag over it and my jacket covering this one and caught a big old fat six and a half pounder. Little old tiny mouth like that. And then, I mean, the morning was horrible. We hit all my good spots where I've been killing them. Um, and then we caught like seven or eight little tiny squeakers. At least we put some fish in the boat. On the jerk bait and the pip. You caught one on a worm too, didn't you? I caught one on a worm, yep. One on the fluke. One on my fluke or my shad jerk. Shad jerk. Oh, that was up in the grass. I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, that's our first fish that I've had anybody catch or that I've even seen in the boat up shallow. And that's what's going to happen here very soon this month, January is these fish are going to start moving up in some of these shallow areas anywhere you can find where it's not completely you know chock full of hydrilla but caught that one fish up there good fish out offshore on a worm and then got on more jerkbait fish it's supposed to get cold tonight and probably turn that jerkbait bite back on but thanks for watching it's first my first time fishing this year i probably only be on the water another 250 to 300 days this year so you got to cherish every one of those. His first time fishing in Florida. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check us out. Check out cpflures.com. I'll put a link in my description. Some of the baits we use today. And uh, we'll see you next time. See ya.